Hey everyone, today we're going to walk through the new public preview of Altrix Copilot. If you haven't heard about Copilot yet, it's an AI powered assistant designed to streamline workflow creation. So as you can see on my screen, I have the start of a workflow and it's separated out into two different areas. One is store location, which these three files, East region, South region, West region, they all have the same data structure. And then I have a sales data file. Ultimately, what I want to do with this fundamental data set is to take these three files, combine them into one, and then ultimately join it to my sales. So in order to do that, uh, you see off to the right, there's an Altrix Copilot preview screen. So if I click continue preview, it's going to look like this. Uh, here are some different prompts it gives you just as an example, but in this case, uh, let's do where do I start just to show you what it's going to look like. It's going to take a second, similar to ChatGPT or Microsoft Copilot, and generate a response. So it looks like you have store data in tools 2, 3, and 4, and sales data in tool 5. Since the store location data is split into multiple streams, I've added a union tool. So you can see here, it just went ahead and added a union tool. One thing I, I'd like to note here is when you're using this tool, Copilot, it doesn't always drop them in the right spot. So, you know, typically if I was building this workflow, I'd bring it out here like this just to make it a little bit more clean. Uh, I think it pretty much just drops it wherever it wants to. So you'll have to move things around. So if I click on this and I run the workflow, you should see these all union. and 302 records that's correct and this is broken up by region here so you can see the north i scroll down a little bit you'll be able to see the south and then ultimately down here at the bottom you'll see the west so it did exactly what we wanted to do just with a quick where do i start prompt so if i want to add the sales uh let's do something like this let's just say um I want to add the sales to take a second and we'll see if it creates another tool or if it gives us another option. Okay, so it went ahead. What it did was it took our, our sales and added it to all of our store level data. So if I come into my join tool, you'll see it joined it by the store number. And then if I look, run this and look at the join, you should see all the sales off to the right. And you do. So it basically look for the store number, joined it. Uh, one thing when I'm do when I'm building a workflow though is I don't necessarily there's store number here twice so what I'll go and do is remove that just to make it a little bit make it a little bit cleaner uh, but no it did it did it really well and actually put it um, in almost the same exact spot that, that I would so just with the two simple prompts uh, went ahead and and did exactly what I wanted it to do uh, so from here uh, I want to look if you look at the data down on the right bottom here, you see there's cash sales and there's credit sales. What I wanna do is create total sales. So it, let me put in another prompt that says, so I'm just saying I wanna sum up cash sales and credit sales. Let's see if it'll put a formula out there. So, okay, it said I wasn't able to complete that request. Let's try again. So let's take that same prompt, add it in, let's see what happens now. Okay, so that time it worked with the same exact prompt. Looks like it's gonna put a formula tool out here. Yes, it did, exact spot I would add it, and then add cash sales and credit sales. Now if I run this again,
and look off to the right here here is your total sales so it did it did exactly what i asked it to do let's try one more formula let's say i want to see the average sales by customer so you have total sales here and total customers Let's see if it knows enough to grab the total customers. So one thing it did here is it tried to take the data directly from the join tool instead of actually connecting to the previous formula tool. So let me see what would happen if I tell it to connect to the previous formula tool, which is formula 12. Okay, so it can't edit or remove existing tools in the workflow yet. So probably coming down the pike, in this case, we'll just delete the connection and then create our own connection here. So still could do some refining there to see if we can get it to actually, you know, what would be great is to, instead of creating another formula tool is to add it to an existing formula tool, but let's look at the results and it looks like it did exactly what we wanted it to. Average sales per customer for this location is $141. And let's try one more thing. Uh, if you look here at the type, there's an FS and a mall. Let's only look at the mall data. So what it should do is create a filter formula. I'm sorry, filter tool, and then filter out anything that's not mall. So there it asked me, I can connect to any existing tool in the canvas, and I told it to connect to formula 13. And there we go. It's filtering on type equals mall. So if I run this again, There you go, all the malls, and then here's your FSs. Let's try one more, one more prompt here. I'm interested to see which direction it's gonna take, if it's true or false. Let's do the sum of total sales by region. So it's saying it added a summarized tool in the workflow. I don't see it anywhere. So I'm gonna to try to just paste that in there one more time to see what happens. Okay, again, it said that it did it, but it really didn't. So I'm going to click this feedback button. So, uh, in this case, I'm gonna put other, did not add correct tool to Canvas, and then submit. So that, that's really imperative that if you see something that doesn't work, give Alteryx feedback, because that's the only way that it's gonna get better. But I honestly, first impressions is it's really good. Um, I think you could save a lot of time with this tool especially if you're newer to all tricks, that's, that's a tough part, right? When you see some of this stuff, it's very overwhelming. So whenever you have a tool like this, this that can kind of actually teach you as you go, you know, very good. Um, I like the direction that this is going. There are just a few other things to note though, uh, when you're using this tool, you do get with the public preview, a thousand different prompts. So 
once you're over your thousand then the, the public preview ends um, and then another point is if you're at 50 tools, this copilot will not go, will not help you if you're over 50 tools, it kind of stops. So the limit is actually 50 tools. Uh, you can't move, edit, or delete files. So you saw where um, it dropped the union tool down here. The tool itself cannot move it. You have to do it yourself. And then the last thing is it doesn't fully support formula cat. Uh, Capabilities, so you may have issues with different formulas, how depending on how complex they are. So again, very good direction, uh, pretty impressive. I would suggest if you're a newer user in Altrix, you, you definitely check this public preview out. I'll put some links in the actual post so you can download. Uh, and of course, any questions, feel free to reach out. I am going to create another video that shows a little bit more of uh, a complex workflow to see you know where it, it's good and where it's bad and give another review there. But uh, thank you everybody for checking this video out. If you got any more questions, feel free to reach out.